Hey everybody, welcome back to ConductorPlugin.com. Today I want to show you a quick way to uh, display a group of your Lifter LMS courses um, in a post grid or a table or however you want to display them using Conductor. I have these three courses already set up uh, and already activated here on my Lifter LMS install. So I'm going to show you how to display those onto this page, this home page. Now, I've already set up a conductor query for it. I've, I've done that by installing, of course, conductor, the query builder add-on, going to the query section here. And now you see that I'll edit this um, Lifter LMS query that I built. And it spits it out in a short code that I can copy and paste into this page. Or I can use a function, or I can drop this PHP function into a template file if I wanted to. But let's take a look at the conductor query. First things first, we're using um, the Query Builder and we're selecting many courses. That's our uh, content type. You can see here from this dropdown, I'm selecting courses. I could do lessons, quizzes, uh, so on and so forth, but I'm just gonna focus on these courses right now. I only have three, so it doesn't really matter what I set the rest of this stuff to, um, showing 10 and, and per page, that kind of thing. One thing to uh, keep in mind, uh, on this is I've actually hidden the excerpt and the content. Um, we don't have official support for Lifter LMS yet. It's something that um, we're thinking about based on uh, user um, questions and people that have been actually asking for it. Uh, but because it's a custom post type, we can pull in everything else fairly cleanly, the featured image, the title, um, the continue reading and that uh, type of meta. Anything else, uh, the way that they sort of do the content section, it doesn't display it properly. Um, and I can actually show you an example of that super quick. So here we go. I'm going to copy this short code. Once I create this query, I hit update. I'm selecting three columns for the display. I'm going to edit this page and I'm going to paste in that short code right here. Hit update. View this page. And there's my three courses. These two don't have any featured images. Um, and if I wanted to clean this up, if I wanted to display, if I didn't want to show that author byline and I wanted to say, instead of continue reading, uh, I can say register for this course. I can save that, hit update. And that'll change the output of this conductor display. And because it's in a short code, I can use this across my entire site. I can use it on this home page. I can use it within a blog post. I can use it in a widget. I can use it in a page builder, that kind of thing. And it makes it very portable. I can make this one query and I could use this to display um, all of these uh, courses throughout uh, my uh, website. So that makes it pretty powerful. Now, that's it. That's all you have to do. If I wanted to change this to a table, I can just switch the uh, conductor display to a table, hit update. That'll change uh, the display of this to a table format, which with conductor, you get this nice little search box. So uh, if I started just typing in LMS, you can see it just filters it right down to this one course. Somebody can click on this, register for this course. It'll then bring them to the course page where they can continue to register. So again, very portable. We can have this one query and mix and match the displays if we wanted to change the displays when we want to. So really cool. They can sort by clicking on this uh, on the header fields there. So very portable, uh, very very powerful for your groups of um, Lifter LMS courses. One little hack, uh, and this is going to get a little bit more advanced. So if, you, if you've seen what you liked, <laughs> it's conductorplugin.com. You can group your Lifter LMS courses that way. Makes it super easy in a grid, in a table, stuff like that. But if you want to add to this, right, if you wanted to add some kind of other call to action, what I've done is I've installed advanced custom fields. This might be overkill. Uh, for this type of situation. But if I wanted to add some stuff to my conductor display with Lifter LMS, I've activated advanced custom fields. I've attached a single custom field uh, to my courses. So you can see post type is equal to course. Uh, and I've, what I've done is put a little WYSIWYG editor in here. and I'm going to use that as my conductor description. So if I go to my courses and take a look at this. Um, if Lifter LMS used the standard WordPress excerpt, we wouldn't need to do this and the conductor would just pick up on the excerpt, but um, they don't. So we've added this little conductor description uh, text field here, or WYSIWYG field. I'm going to say you should really buy this course. It's amazing. And again, until we actually support officially uh, all of these different custom fields that Lifter LMS has, 
Um, you won't need to do that or do this little, this little workaround. Um, but I've added in the, the description here. It says you should really buy this course. It's amazing. Now, if I go to my query builder and I'm going to just hit update because I've saved some data there. Go to the output section and search for the conductor description that I just added. That'll drop the field right here at the bottom. Hit update and then refresh this page. You should see it right here. Here's the conductor description. You should really buy this course. It's amazing. I can change this label. Um, let me just say summary if I wanted to. Refresh this page. And there it is. It changes the label there and the summary. And I could add in my own custom summaries, my own custom information uh, associated with this field. So if I wanted to build a little bit more uh, of a complex uh, display or just something with some more information that I don't want to necessarily uh, or that I can necessarily pull out of Lifter LMS, uh, that's a great way to do it. You can attach advanced custom fields right to your Lifter LMS course, uh, change that up in the conductor display. And that's it. That's how you can display these groups of, of courses or lessons and quizzes that are within Lifter LMS. It's a great uh, LMS plugin. Check it out at lifterlms.com and check out Conductor Plugin at conductorplugin.com.